All right, welcome. This is Mr. Sampson, and this is Chapter 7.2. Chapter 7.2, Complementary and Supplementary Angles. Complementary and Supplementary. So let me show you two examples of complementary and supplementary angles. Let me show you. All right, two angles are complementary, right? Two angles. Let me go red. Two angles are complementary if they make a 90 degree angle, right? So in a 90 degree angle, you have a corner, you have sort of a, you have a square, and it looks like a corner, right? So you have a square, this is a 90 degree angle, right? It's a, it's a right angle. Well, one way to remember this is that complementary angles make a corner. So write corner down, corner, C for corner, and C for complementary. So corner complementary. All right, so two angles that add together make a 90 degree angle. You can see right here, angle one and angle two, the measure of angle one and angle two make 90 degrees, okay? Now, supplementary angles are two angles um, that their sum, that means add, when you add them together, they make 180 degrees. So, and also if you look, supplementary angles make a straight line, right? So this is 180 degrees right there. This angle and this angle, angle three and angle four, together, they make 180 degrees. They make a straight line. So one way to remember this, let's go back to red. One way to remember this is supplementary makes a straight angle, a straight line. So supplementary is straight, uh, complementary makes a corner. Okay, supplementary. Also, another way you can remember it is 90 comes before 180, right? Just like C comes before S in the alphabet, right? So C comes before S in the alphabet, 90 comes before 180 on the number line. Okay, so it's just one way to remember it. So here we go. Simple, easy. Here we go. A uh, example one. Look at these two angles. I got angle one and I got angle two. What? You got three choices here, okay? Do these two angles, are they, are they complementary, are they supplementary, or are they neither? Right, you have three choices. So complementary, supplementary, or neither, right here. Okay, so let's go back and look at it. Complementary, supplementary, or you put neither. All right, here we go. Let's go back and look right here. They are supplementary because they make a straight line. Supplementary makes a straight line. S for supplementary, S for straight. Okay, so these are supplementary. All right, go to the next one. All right, I have two angles, and they're not next to each other. But if I did put them up next to each other, this is 60 degrees, this is 30 degrees, right? If I add them together, 60 plus 30 is 90, right? That makes, um, it makes a corner, it makes a right angle, right? A corner, which is complementary. So this, these two angles together are complementary. Super easy, nothing big. All right. Here we go. Next one. Complementary, supplementary, or neither. Well, 85 and 90. This is 90, but this is 85, right? That's not 90 degrees. And if I add them together, that's going to make 175 degrees, right? Well, it's not, it's not complementary because it's not 90. And it's not supplementary because it's not 180, so it's got to be neither. So the answer is neither, all right? Here we go. Let's undo that, okay? Undo that, and let's go over here. All right, I have 75 degrees. I have 15 degrees. Together, if I add them together, 75 plus nine, uh, 15 equals 90. Well, 90 is complementary. So if they add together to make 90 degrees, which is a right angle, it is complementary. Remember, <clears throat> complementary makes a corner. 90 degree angle is a corner, okay? All right, and let's move down. All right, now let me actually get to some math here. Find the value of x, okay? So if I look right here, let's zoom in here. I got 2x is this angle right here, and 28 is this angle right here. Well, together they make a corner, which is 90 degrees, right? So these two angles added together make 90 degrees. So how do I write that? Well, let's, let's do it over here, all right? Here we go. I'm gonna write it 2x plus 28, so this this angle, sorry, this angle plus this angle, 2x and the 28 added together should make 90. Yes, all right, 
Now I've got an equation. I've set it up. I can just solve the equation, right? Undo the order of operations. Do them in reverse. Remember, we do the order of operations in reverse. So I'm going to undo the addition. So I'm going to subtract 28. If I subtract 28 to one side, I'm going to subtract 28 to the other side, and I'm going to get my step line, which we've done lots of times. All right, 28 minus 28 makes a 0, and I'm left with 2x equals 62. All right, now what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to divide because it's multiplying by 2. I'm going to divide by 2. Divide by 2 on one side, divide by 2 on the other side, and my answer, 62 divided by 2, is 31. 31 degrees. 31. On formative, you probably only have to just put 31. You won't have to put degrees, okay? All right, example 4. I have two angles right here. This angle is 123. This angle is 3x, but if I put them together, they make a straight line. That means they're supplementary. I'm going to put sup for supplementary. And supplementary angles are, make 180 degrees. Okay? So if I set this up over here, right, 3x plus 123 is going to equal 180 because, remember, it's a supplementary angle. It's a straight angle. It's 180, 180 degrees. Okay, so solve this one. Well, I've got a two-step equation again, so I'm going to subtract 123 on one side. Don't forget my scale line here. Subtract 123 on the other side. Those two become zero, so that leaves me just 3x, okay? And on the other side, I get 57. 180 minus 127 is 57. All right, I'm going to now divide. Okay, so I'm going to divide by 3, divide by 3. 57 divided by 3 is going to give me 19. So x equals 19 degrees. So I just divided it out. If you want to see it for sure, right here, 57 divided by 3. 3 goes into 5 one time. Subtract, you get 3. Subtract, you get 27. 3 goes into 27 nine times, 19. All right, last example. This one, um, yeah. This one, let's let's do it. All right, well, if I look, I have two angles, and they make a straight line. And if they add together, they're going to make 180 degrees, okay? So it's 8x. I know it's hard to see. It's 8x and 116, okay? So if I set that up, okay, here we go. Set it up. That's going to be 8x plus 116 equals 180. I'm going to solve this by doing my scale line. Okay, and then I'm going to subtract 116, subtract 116, step line. I'm going to have 8x left because these two become 0, okay? 180 minus 116 is 64. Divide by 8, divide by 8 with the step line again. And what do I get? I get x over here. I get x because 8 divided by 8 is one whole, 1x, one okay? I could put a 1 there if I wanted. And eight, 64 divided by 8 is 8. Eight degrees. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you like the examples. Pretty easy section. And uh, thanks for watching. Homework's on formative. Have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.